G'day guys. Well, after many, many years and many, many years of procrastination to say that at least, I've finally found a swag that I think is the pick of them and which I've finally bought. And when I say years of procrastination, that isn't an understatement. I over-research and over-over look into every single product I buy because I'm that type of person with my OCD. But I found a swag that I think ticks all the boxes and I wanted to show it to you guys today and this will be a bit of an unboxing. I haven't opened it yet, but here it is. This here is the Crash Pad Hybrid. At $488 it cost me out of pocket. Now, it isn't actually in a box because I purchased this while on the road in Armadale at Armadale Outdoors. Now the price there was $488, which is the exact same price that they are currently offering online from Crashpad themselves. Now, this swag itself is slightly smaller than the double, the Crashpad double, which is a very popular model which many, many people use. Um, there's a couple of differences why I went this swag over every other swag in the market, and I'm happily going to discuss that here today. Right, and during this swag opening, I might have a helper with me who's very helpful. So if you see her get involved, she's just a friendly helper and a swag reviewer as well. So I'll put her down and I'll get underway with opening. Firstly, I'm really impressed with this amount of space that's in this swag. Once I get my bedding and everything in here, I think it's gonna be great. A lot of those other swags you see on the market don't have that extra room with the bag. Do they? No. Stickers, a must. And a how to. You wanna take them? Okay, I'll put them over here. So that's, this is the mattress out of it. Now, like many of the other brands, it's a 70 mil mattress. And it's a, so the, the eggshell type, which is I think meant to be a bit more, uh, this isn't working, Ellie. The mattress itself is a 70 mil eggshell type foam mattress. And like the other brands being that extra thickness, they're all very competitive, but when they go that eggshell type, it does help with your back pressure on a hard surface ground. So I'll put this to the side. That's pretty cool, it comes strapped together, so already there. Once again, there's the bag. I'll put him to the side. Nice heavy duty clips. Put them out. Now, one of the things about this swag compared to the others, and one of the main reasons I chose this swag, is this is a three hoop swag. Now, it is a 25 mil difference in width with this swag compared to the double swag. But with that three hoop system, it takes the, what you call the sag that every one of those big double swags has out from the middle. Now, with that being said, I feel that it would compensate for the loss of the 25 mil and therefore I'd still have a comfortable sleep and not have that annoying swag sag that everyone on the market does. Just a bit of a reason why I chose it. Let's have a look in here. A couple of pegs. Guy ropes. More pegs. Spreader bar poles, two of. All right. Now, I haven't set this up before, so let's see how I go.
these are pretty pretty uh, basic they just clip together like this so I'm not actually having to force it or anything I think most of them are very similar on the market but neither less I thought I'd show and all three of them are the same size they do have a slight curve in them but there you go from here I'm going to clip the left hand side or your right make the loop do this, the middle one and the M one and go from there I have this steel here rod which connects your loop into so your loop will just slide over it it goes over it and then each one of these here plastic clips just goes over it so just when I did this loop, I just tried to get sort of the middle one either side clipped on first to help hold that loop in place and sort of just clip them on as I go around. <coughs> just like so. Now, this is my first time ever setting this up. So if there's any tips and trips, tricks for anyone watching, please put it in the comments below because I would welcome it greatly but so far pretty easy right there's one two more to do probably should have timed this but uh first time doing it I wasn't planning on setting any world records but like anything it will get easier the more you do it It does appear to be easier when you get a couple done up up the top it sort of brings that spreadness of it as you go that's two and number three now they are quite a flexible pole from what I've seen so far why like, that has a lot of flex in it so to line up with that steel piece don't be afraid that you're going to break it famous last words of course but it is quite flexible one fifty nine So after the three hoops are in, both ends in the middle, it's time to put these spreader poles on. They are just a simple lever style one, and they just, yeah, pretty basic. Goes from each side in the middle here. When, when it's pulled back, just clips in place like that. And same with this one. Righto guys, there she is, all put together. Now, I'll get quicker the more I go doing it, but as you can see, it's not difficult. It's not rocket science. But one of the reasons I chose this product over the others on the market, um, 
basically is, as you can see, it's a freestanding swag right now. Um, a lot of the double swags that have the one center pole and the two end hoops, they get that bagging, that need the fly pulled at each end to hold that tautness. This one doesn't. So if I'm out on a trip, solo trip, or even with the kids, and I've just got the awning off the back, or off the side of the car, sorry, I can have this swag under there in the night time, but in the daytime, if I want to utilize that space, I can just easily pick this swag up and move it. Um, I mean, you can do that with the other ones, but it's just a bit easier, I find, from what I'll, other ones I've seen. Um, other models I did look at, I did look up the ARB Skydome, and even um, many of the Darchy variations that were available on the market. The ARB Skydome, I think, was high 700s for a similar style swag compared to the 488. Um, another thing I didn't like about it, and I think there's the Darchy's equivalent, was it tapered in at the end, where this one doesn't. Um, so far, I haven't used it. As you can see, this is an unboxing, but I'm really happy from what I've seen so far of the build quality of it. Like any other crash pad product, it's good quality stitching I've seen. I've seen the double variation of it, and it's a good quality product too. But not many people have these yet, um, and there's not much info on them, so I thought today I might show, show a bit more about it. I'll, I'll show you inside now and show you how dark it is. So, I'm inside. Now, inside this swag, being that darker grey colour with the black side flaps, you're going to get a longer sleep in. That's right. It's not going to let as much light in be in that colour. Now, inside here, I'll show you some of the features that I really like compared to some of the others on the market too. So, another thing that I think is a big ticket win for this swag compared to the others on the market is these guys. These here are pockets that are on each corner at both ends. So totaling four in the whole swag. So that means that each side is exactly the same no matter how you set it up. And I think that's pretty good because a lot of them only have something at one end. So no matter where you set up, you've also got to make sure that you get it right. But this thing, it doesn't matter where you go. So that's a big one for me. Right, Righto guys, so as you can see, like most of the other swags on the market, they do have that rain flap here. This one I find seems to be a little bit more pronounced than many of the others. So you won't get any rain coming in. Once you've done up, that's all tucked in the side. There is also Velcro here that holds it in place too, which I think is quite handy. In summer too, you can roll these up or flip them over. You got your um, midgy proof fly mesh there. There's also a zip at the end of your flies here, so you can get that down and get that extra air in there in a hot summer's night. Or if you just want that extra airflow, so you've reduced that condensation that can build up in your swags. So guys, width, we're at 125 centimeters, length, 215 centimeters. As I was saying before, that slight reduction in, in width, and that's what gives it the hybrid name. It's not a single, it's not a double, it's slight variation. I'm going to plan on sleeping in here with kids and the missus. We have tested one in the shop to see if we fit. And there was plenty of space for two people still next to each other. Um, other things about this, everything is double stitched. Uh, there's a heavy duty PVC base on it. Also, um, yeah, I'm not exactly sure the GSM of the canvas. I will put that below. But yeah, it's a good quality product, good quality made by Crash Pad. There's tie down points for your fly ends. Um, there's also hooks on each end for if you want to roll up your canvas and also peg down points on each corner. So if you plan on getting some bad weather coming and you just don't want to freestand it, there's that option too. Um, Righto guys, that's her. The Crash Pad Hybrid Swag at 488 bucks. Do you think it was a good buy? I do. And I'll be sure to give you guys feedback how it goes on our first trip away. But be sure to leave a comment below what you think or what you're running at home. I'm greatly interested to see what everyone thinks about it and what everyone else is running. But if you've also found this video helpful, because there's not much information out here on the Crash Pad Hybrid, 
please give me a subscribe and even put a comment below and I'll be sure to try and reply with an answer of some feedback how it's gone. But thanks very much for your time. Thank you for watching. And uh, yeah, get out there and do some camping. Cheers, guys. Thank you.